Hi guys, welcome back to another sculpting vlog of Monkey Island. So we're going to continue on uh, adding a bit of details to one of the cannibal's uh, body. So I'm going to add uh, whatever it is, the collar and a bit of a uh, kilt, a tripe kilt I think. I don't know what that's called. Bottom cover or something. <laughs> okay, and a bit of a... Uh, I wish I knew what these were called. I'm just going to call them accessories at this point, so hell, if anyone knows, educate me, put put the names on the comment. And while you're doing that, feel free to hit subscribe and please hit like. And also, I didn't write it there, but please uh, share this to anyone who's interested in sculpting or Monkey Island or whoever, whoever be interested in this. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, let's see, where will I start off? Okay, so like I said, let's start off at the top. Again, I'm just going to add, I might do this something similar, what I did with LeChuck's beard. If you guys for, uh, forget, you just have to go back to a few episodes uh, to LeChuck and you'll see what I did with his beard. Okay, so let's we'll do this. That is fear. Scale her down. Not that kind of scale yet. Turn S on, scale it down. Not to confuse, make sure these are all ticks so they so it scales perfectly. Okay, let's drag this out. No, scale a bit more. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's grab this beast. Right here. It looks like a thong. Hold down the shift. That's how I did that is by holding on the shift. Hopefully, yeah, I'll explain that in the other videos. It's hard to explain everything. <laughs> It'd be great if I can get a software that puts uh, all my controls here, so it'd help a lot. Actually, if any of you guys out there uh, can name that software, give me a shout on the comments. I'd be much appreciated. Okay. Ready. Turn this off flatten this still looks like tongue <laughs> yeah i guess it doesn't matter it's a sculpting tool flatten the, the back here still looks like a tongue i'm only kidding guys it's no harm have a bit of fun you know have a bit of fun while i model like uh, i remember uh one of the tutorial videos uh it sounded like like a non-human, and you put this hair, and you move it over there. It's like listening to somebody playing bingo. Number one, number seven. <laughs> okay, let's get real. Yeah, this is just a little humor. I always like to be funny on these uh, shows. Oh, like when I'm gonna explain this, the similar to the Chuck, just have this go around. Actually, I'll flatten that out a bit more. A little humor never hurts. I always love uh, uh, videos that are with a bit of humor in it, you know. Put it right there. The tongue sticking out his throat. Don't ask why. But hey. And so let's put that there. Well, actually, that's not too bad, actually. We can just work with that. Sometimes you can have leaves that kind of curl out a bit. It's possible. It exists. All right, so copy V. <laughs> Looks like an, an eyes and nose. Rotate this a bit. You can even do them differently. Like you can, some people tend to make different versions of these to make them look a bit different. But uh, for now, I'm just going to stick to the one. But it's up to you guys what you do with your models. It's up to you. Let's see now. Yeah, I'm still trying to. Maybe this will help. There we go. Okay, so we could 
you know, maybe a different color may, would have been better. Like I mentioned, with why uh, making it gray, it helps this. But with the 3D model, maybe the background should be blue or something so you can see everything. I don't think gray is a, co a great color. I kind of realize that now. So, yeah, we could do something like that. Control H. Okay. Okay. Nope. Let you just hide that. And it takes practice to rotate this model. You know. Bring it down, lower it down. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Just give it a bit of a smooth. Don't know why it kind of. There we go. That's nice. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's not too bad at all, Lee. Okay, shame there's no way of... Uh, or is there? No. Actually, that's one thing. If this, if I turn symmetry off, I'd be able to rotate this the other way. But at this point, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because, you know what? There's no things to find a model. Because this is going to be topology. Going to be topologized in future videos so i'm thinking i explained that to you guys before i'm actually planning to do topology on these characters and improve them so they're gonna nice little makeover if you wish i think you guys might be beating me to it if you guys go on my page and say hey i beat you to it oh nice well done but I'm going to do it my way. Is it me or his neck is starting to look like Hermit the Frogs? You know, that he has a leaf or not leaf, something around his neck, around his collar. There we go. Here we go now. Yep. Rotate. Control H. That looks a bit cool a bit. I might leave it at that. There is another trick I can do, but I'm going to leave that till later on. All right. Now, see these flames? They could be something similar to what I did there, or we could just do something crazy like, I don't know, something like this. We'll just hide this first, and we just, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Play by ear. Okay, just drag these out. Something like this. Aha. Uh -huh. That looks like a work. That could work. Oh, not that way. Whoop, wrong way. Get rid of that. Let me smooth it out. I know it's kind of important to, to you know, make sure you, if you hit wireframe, make sure the details are a bit down a bit. But at this point, just have fun with it.
So these are gonna act like just like flames or something, you know. They're gonna be so cool. Cheeky. Sorry. Just thought of uh, a few episodes of Sound Park. <laughs> Grab this. Uh, what should we do for the hands? Well, it kind of rolled in. What if I do? Uh, you can always experiment. You can always. Now, again, not easy to do with a mouse. Hopefully, I can afford a. Hopefully, I can afford a webcam tablet because. Uh, it'd be great if I had a webcam tablet. I'm so annoyed that I don't recommend a mouse <laughs> unless you're patient enough to use a mouse, you know. I know. Everyone's going, ah, a mouse? You're using a mouse? Oh, I'll never. <laughs> He's using a mouse. He's using a freaking mouse. I know. I know. Run for the hills, ladies and gentlemen. It's the end of the world. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Could do a bit better if I had a Wapcom tablet. <laughs> um, I could do the same for these. Why not? Hmm, question. Should I copy these and paste them over or just do them from here? That's a good call. Here. Do a bit more. And actually, best to start them from here. Make these a bit pointier. Yeah, a bit pointier. You know what I'm talking about. Oops, didn't want that to be. Well, yeah, I do want a pointier, but you know. this a bit sharper yeah don't worry too much about it okay so all right then why not okay let's try the bottom here actually yeah I forgot to give them underwear Let's do it this way. Oh, boy. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I make these videos kind of like in two days. The only reason. I know it's kind of like you're supposed to make one video a day, but I decided, you know, I'd just rather just try and get it all out there, you know. Okay, so whew. 
what can I do here? What can I do for you? What if I did something like this? Don't even think about it, guys. It's not what you think. do this Get a big grab and boom okay that didn't go down what's going on oh yeah because it's yeah I get it now because of the symmetry it doesn't yeah now I get you yeah 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 oh. I'll read for time. Not bad. Might continue on for a few minutes. You know what? I'm just thinking I might as well just do the head. I'll do that in the next episode. And continue on with the body as well. So y'all have... Because I'm going in the mirror there. Symmetry there. Symmetry. Woof. Looks like a thong. A tongue and a tongue. Thong tongue. At least you all know how to model a thong. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, that's not too bad. Okay, so let's turn this off. Okay, that's pretty getting close. Oops. Let's move it up a bit. Hmm. Alright, so again, this could be another. See, it takes patience and time to. I remember saying the other episode, I want to try and get only three episodes. That's. Again, sculpting it takes a lot of patience, so you need to be patient with it. You know? I might continue on for another 10 minutes, but uh, actually, I feel like. I'm gonna cheat just to save time. I'm gonna just delete these, copy these, paste these, place these. Just to save time, you know. Sure, it's not really recommended, but propose you are out of time and you want to get something done this is a good cheat you know if they're if you're worried about oh but it looks the same don't worry be happy you can always uh, change them a bit I don't know just just move things around a bit like nobody's gonna go up and say, oh look, you know, oops, maybe not. 
but when you uh, use this in another 3D software, you can actually, I wouldn't actually do topology on this, to be honest. I actually would just use a, I would just actually model them. You know, it's better. I wouldn't actually topology this at all. Okay, so are we? Yeah, I should have put uh, the side view as well. Let's add a bit of details. Uh, oops. I think I have an idea about the, the draw tool now. If you turn this off, it actually extrudes it a bit more, but if you turn it on, it actually, it's like drawing and adding stuff on the, the model. Fair enough, fair enough. very warm guys it's very warm and I turned my fan on because I didn't want it to distract the audio I don't know it's not really ideal to model <laughs> in a very hot environment Make sure you have a fan on or something to keep cool off the computer. And let's put a bit of a man. I need to do live drawing again. <laughs> if you guys are mod modeling a human body. Make sure you do plenty of life drawing just to get used to understand the human body a bit better. Believe me, life drawing is very important if you plan to sculpt a human figure. Even I forgot to... Uh, it's the other way around. Human body, understanding the human body is very important. That's where life drawing comes in. Too strong. Hit D. Alt. Grab the legs here. Intent D. Create a bit of kneecaps. Put a little curve in there just to actually, it's not really, it's more like this. Something like that. Oof. Okay, so. All right, hold on a second, guys. Yeah, that's not too far off, but I strongly recommend life drawing. Like, actually have a, a human figure. It's extremely important. I don't recommend trying to model a human body without any, you know, if you plan to do human body again, don't use your imagination. Get yourself some reference. Believe me. <clears throat> Unless you really ex know how the human body works, but it's always good to have reference because it's always important. So let's see now. 
She's not wearing shoes, so actually what I'll do, actually I'm not gonna do each toe. What I'll, what I'll do is um, I'll do something like this. Mimic toes. That's the wrong one. This is the right one. Turn off the, do it like this instead. Hmm. Smooth it out. Because your feet are not really that smooth. Oh, God. What happened here? Looks warped. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about uh, Sculptress. It doesn't really have tools you can, you know. You're, you're actually limited with tools here in uh, Sculptress. So, okay, so, <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Yeah, I know. Supposed to be part of your, uh, you know. Whoops, I just want to smooth it. Okay, so you can always go back and f fix these again. Okay, and I'm gonna do, actually I'll use the draw tool for this one. Wish I had a Wacom tablet. What happened was I teach English and uh, some of the kids actually damaged my, <laughs> well, it's my own fault in a way, so it's not the kids, so I don't blame them. Yeah, they're great. I was teaching English, you know. Like, why am I teaching English when you're a 3D artist? Well, the animation industry is so tough that I can't even get in, you know. And I'm sure everyone can relate to this. It's it's a real tough industry. Hell, I lived in Canada for two years and I tried to... It was... A, meant a lot. I know that looks weird, but hey. This is not going to be on the final character. Anyway, as I was saying, when I was in Canada, it meant the world to me to, like, I was immigrating there. I was trying to get my residence and all that. But unlike the animation industry, it was really hard to get sponsored. And, you know, it, it was, it's a real tough experience. It really put me in the down mood, you know. So... And I kind of did want to immigrate. It was something I did want it, I planned it to do. So I choose moving to Spain, Barcelona. I want to go somewhere completely different. So that's why I picked here. I know it's not really a spot to go, but I want to go somewhere with a bit of quality of life, you know. Anyway, there's your toes. Uh, let me just get rid of that. Yeah. That's not too bad. That's nothing to write home about, but hey, helps. Now, the next episode, I'm going to work on the head. I'm actually going to start on the head. Uh, I could still do a bit of work here. And uh, like, there's a few things to look at, so... You just take your time with it. All right, guys. That's it for now. 
Also, please hit subscribe and like, and also share it around like to five people that would be interested in Monkey Island or Sculptress or modeling in general. And uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care.